This is Dodger, and you're watching some sort of nonsense that could or could not be my show. Okay, so I am on a webcam in my home in Oregon, and uh, I don't know, do you guys want to hear my, my fancy story? No? You don't want to hear it? Okay, that's cool. I didn't actually, like, want to tell you anyway. Like, that's just a giant waste of time, so uh, let's just move on. It's cool, whatever. So Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdale is going to be coming out in spring of 2011. It's a new D&D based game and they just came out with a trailer that had a bunch of like fight sequences and stuff so you can see how the game is going to look. I wasn't like super impressed with how it looked so I mean it, it looks pretty rudimentary and I've honestly I've never been super impressed by any Dungeons & Dragons game that I've played. I think that DDO is really fun, the, the online MMO, but I don't know, like, the Dungeons & Dragons games have never been super interesting to me, and I keep waiting for them to use the D&D system on, like, a completely different universe. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, what about Star Wars? Yes, I know, they use the D&D system on a Star Wars game, I understand that. The thing is, is, like, there are so many people who come up with really, really interesting Dungeons & Dragons games that are based in entirely different universes but use the same principles that are in the Player's Handbook and the Dungeon Master's Guide and all of that. And I keep waiting for them to make a game that's set in, like, a completely different system. I think that that would do a lot better for them, like, financially, monetarily, because people don't want to be playing the exact same game over and over and over again. And I feel like their games end up being very recap. Daggerdale is going to be a co-op game. You can play with up to four players. So, I mean, maybe, I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure that it's going to be a good game. It's going to be fun to play, even if it doesn't, you know, stand the test of time and stick around for a long time. But here's the thing. Like, I just, I really want a Dungeons & Dragons game that is not set in medieval time. I think that that would be awesome. So I don't know, maybe that'll happen someday. I just think that people get so creative with D&D and then it doesn't reflect in any of their Dungeons & Dragons based, like, media. Sorry, I had to run and grab this because I wrote down, uh, I was on 1UP. This is, I'm sure that my relationship with 1UP is just going to be totally like destroyed after this. But so I was on 1UP and I was reading an article about Windows 8 and how Bill Gates has been saying that he wants to make sure that Windows 8 is far more gaming friendly because he realizes how important it is and how many gamers are showing up. So he wants to make sure that Windows 8 is like basically made for gamers, which is great. But the... <laughs> The way that the article opened up was with this statement. Despite numerous claims to the contrary, it's just not true that PC gaming is dead. Okay, in what universe would PC gaming be dead? And here's why I asked that question. We have esports that is traveling across the world. It is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is entirely PC focused. We have MMOs being made constantly, and people who are already addicted to certain MMOs have been playing for years. I don't think that PC gaming is going anywhere. And we have like all of these shooter games that people who use PC like greatly prefer using PC to play these games rather than console because the control system is better. Like, I don't understand why anyone would say, I don't know, I think PC gaming's gonna gonna peter out here in the next, you know, couple of years. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why anyone would say that. I don't know, do you guys think that PC gaming is dying? Personally, I've always been more of a console person. But even I have to say that PC gaming is greatly growing, if anything, I think. The biggest problem that PC gaming has had in the past is that certain games aren't compatible with certain systems and then people have to do the whole rigmarole of like buying more RAM or whatever else they need to do in order to make a game play. And then, you know, in a couple of years they come out with the newer version of that game anyway and then people are like, oh, I want this version, but then I have to buy all this. I don't think that that problem is getting better or worse, really. I think that that problem still exists with a lot of gamers, but I don't think that it's impacting PC gaming in as much of a negative way as some might think. Which reminds me... Okay, so there was also another article that had to do with uh, Christmas-based games and why there are so many Christmas movies that come out, but there aren't any Christmas games that come out. Okay, here's the thing. As much as gaming is becoming more and more prevalent and more and more people are gaming, that doesn't mean that an entire family would sit around and play a video game rather than all sitting around and watching a Christmas movie. Movies are just more accessible in general. And a lot of times during the holiday season, people will have like, whatever that holiday is, they'll have like movies constantly running that have to do with that. So I don't think that, I feel like they can't be compared. They're not media styles that can even like address each other at all. Ooh, 
Ooh, Navi, what? Also, I feel like making a Christmas movie would be a lot easier than making a Christmas video game. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, in the article, they quoted Tim Schafer because Tim Schafer was talking about it. He was saying that he feels like if a game is directly focused on a holiday, there's more of a worry that after that holiday, the game will never be played again. It's not like a Christmas movie where they're going to be like, oh, it's Christmas time. We have to watch White Christmas. So I think the new thing is that because so many games have DLC now, a, a lot of game developers are saying, okay, we'll make this game that isn't associated with any holiday at all, and then every holiday we'll put out some downloadable content for it because it keeps the game showing up a lot, it keeps people playing the game, and there will be things that are constantly changing, so it just it makes it a better and more interactive experience. I think that that's really the way to go. I think that's a smarter system. I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Do you think that it would make sense to make, like, a Christmas-focused game? Would you ever play it again? Oh, you really do want to hear about what happened to me? That's That would be great. You guys are great friends. Okay, so I got home. I'm in Oregon right now. I got home and I was like, yay! I just brought my laptop because I don't need to bring my desktop. And I drove here with Husky and he had the dog and stuff. And I was like, I don't want to deal with it. I'm just going to bring the laptop and it's going to be great. So I brought my laptop. I got home. And this morning I opened it up and I was like, yay! I can make a video and we can work and it's going to be great. And it blue screened me. And I was like, mm. so I shut it down and then I restarted it and did like the F8 thing, like right at the beginning and tried to put it into safe mode. And as it was trying to go into safe mode, it blue screened me again. I was like, no. So I did some like rudimentary troubleshooting on my own and couldn't figure it out. So I called Husky and was like, hey buddy, you want to look at my computer tomorrow? So hopefully we'll fix it tomorrow. If not, I, I'm not sure. But right now I'm using my mom's webcam and Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> Yay! Which, it gets the job done, so who cares? But yeah, so that's, that's going to be my system possibly until I get back to California. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope that everything's going awesome for you. I'm really excited to be home, so I think that the holidays are going to go good for me. So I wish the same for all of you guys. And I will be making a video in a couple of days. I'm not going to just, like, drop off the planet during, like, the Christmas time or anything. So we will talk again soon. Okay, bye-bye.